Welcome back, fam. It's your boy Buddha. Hey, man. Look, Lil Romeo been going back and forth with his daddy. I'm sorry, I can't even call him Lil Romeo no more. Romeo <laughs> been going back and forth with his daddy, Master P. And basically, how this started was DJ Twitch had passed. Y'all know Ellen DJ, he had passed or whatever. And, um,. Master P made a post saying, rest in peace to the man, or whatever, right? So when Master P made the post saying, rest in peace to the man, Romeo basically threw shots at Master P like, okay, you posted that man, you ain't even know him and all that, but it's like, when, when I lost my sister, basically your energy was different, you feel me, or whatever, right? Then he wrote a poem, everything, so... <laughs> So Romeo just stay taking shots at Master P, right? Master P shoot back a little bit. I ain't gonna cover all that. But what we is gonna talk about is that little Romeo say he been taking care of Master P. And Master P is broke. And they family broke. And he all alone make him say, oh, nah, 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 nah. What the hell going on? Right before Christmas? Romeo, ain't no money. Romeo, hey, get, how you gonna get the tree? How you gonna go get Christmas gifts? Well, you had like 80 million shows, man. <laughs> hey, Romeo, Romeo, let me let me explain something to you, Rome. And I just hate to be the bearer of bad news, but Rome, if you ain't had no money, that's all the more reason you should have got with Angela Simmons. <laughs> Angela Simmons would have got some M's. No, but Angela Simmons could have got you some M's in your pocket. What be wrong with y'all? Y'all be on these reality shows, putting that thing on the line, embarrassing y'all self, doing all that, and you mean to tell me you broke? But he say all his money went to help Master P with his tax. But man, we finna get into this, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me go over here, read this to y'all, man. So look, this was the first big shot. When Romeo said, Dad, please stop reading the comments and editing your caption. I'm the one who set up the family meeting talk after Tata Dell. The meeting was regarding as disrespectful for being transparent. I pulled up to the crib time and time after that, and you deflect. I've texted you countless times, and you reply and deflect. Social media is the only way communicate now you want to talk anything to protect that image so basically la romeo say he fried he putting on the front master p ain't who people think master p is right but then somebody in the comments carolina grander whoever that is said no i feel you p you gave them kids a good life and opportunities what they do with it is on them they came up poor a need for anything Right? Romeo said, nigga. <laughs> I know <laughs> Romeo could give y'all all that holier art thou if he want to. Get he could act like he all holy to y'all if that's what he want to do. But I know when he wrote this, he said, first of all, nigga, all my siblings are broke, bro. Never even had money to afford college. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute, wrong, 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 wrong. You couldn't go to college with the SCDC money? College, college, man, what the hell? Hold on, wrong, no, 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 wrong, wrong, wrong. You had to get the free scholarship to SCDC. So, come on, man. College, college. Man, they was playing up commercials nonstop, stop Romy. You ain't get paid off the SCDC commercials? Oh, my God. Come on, man. I know people weren't handling business this bad. Lil' Romeo was literally the face of SCDC. Yeah, people wanted to go there just because they thought they was going to see Lil' Romeo. Like, yeah, I don't want to. Come on, Lil' Romeo. You had to be able to get into the SCDC. But anyway, let's get back into it. So then he saying, and nothing is wrong with that. He just shouldn't paint a certain life that isn't real. One big house to stun in is a minimum way of thinking. Okay. Then he said, 
Then a hundred bags underscore said, had a better life than me. I don't blame my peoples. Then Romeo said, man, we've been living month to month since I was 18. It's a mirage. What? Romeo, think I remember when you <laughs> when you was on uh MTV Cribs? You had an Xbox all in the all in the bins and that. <laughs> you had to have the like man, what's what the what's really going on? Romeo said they broke. He said his daddy ain't got no money, and he been doing it since he was 18, like since month to month since 18. He said he never made a damn off of being Lil' Romeo. And I'm like, what? Then rapper's lyrics said to him, coming from a teacher of 15 years, trust me, Ken, you are right. These kids are spoiled, entitled, and don't appreciate the struggle and sacrifice that us parents went through so they could have a better life. Bible, it said, I'm a mother of two teenagers and an educator. It's different day in these streets. And in school, it said, for real, trust that you are a greater father, not a random BD king. You did your job. Romeo once again said, nigga. <laughs> nigga. I believe my father tried his best. The problem is he's painting a perfect picture to the media and not taking accountability at his home for his troops. I mean, La Romeo, La Romeo was on fire. He he was on fire, bro. He he was on he he was on fire. Like he was going crazy. And I mean, it almost broke my heart when he said he never made no money off of being La Romeo. That's when I was like, this is crazy. And then they like they just kept shooting at each other shooting at each other like it was just going on and on and on man like they been going at it all day so then so once he said he never made so basically once he said he made never made no money off the romeo that's when master p said i thought this was about dj twitch and my daughter's death it's really about money you know what i'm saying so then once master p said it's really all about money after Romeo started bringing up the money and stuff, then he made this speech right here. I'm gonna let y'all go on here and hear this. But I tried to call my son. People say, why you call? I did. He don't call back. It's been months. So my question is to Romeo, like if you've been in the business for long as you've been in and you a 30 something year old man, and if you've been around me, watching me hustle and do my thing, why are you not where you want to be at? Because that means you're not listening. That means you want to do your own thing. You done brought your own circle, your own circle of people. But you can't get mad at me because I really thought this was about, the only reason I entertain this on social media, I thought it was about the DJ Twitch uh, post that I put up. And I thought it was about my daughter's death. I thought you was grieving. Mental illness is, is real. But I want to tell all the people out there that just don't understand how bad my heart hurt. Romeo lost a sister, but I lost a today a sad day because I got to get out of character and put this on the internet. Daughter. And for any parent that's going through this, because I know that it brings people closer together or it tear them apart. But I come from nothing, y'all. And I can go back. I'm cool with it. I won't be angry at God. I won't be upset. I won't go get mad and, and be disrespectful to my parents and none of that stuff. I just say, Dad, thank you for putting me in this world not to get out and hustle and go do my thing. But that's the problem. When you take kids and you you kind of like uh, protect them from the real struggle and the pain and you don't allow them to deal with their own consequences. And then when they grow older, they, oh, you never gave me nothing. At 30 something, man, people could go back and look, you've been shining for a long time, son. All you gotta do is pick up the phone and call me or come to the house and holler at me. The saddest thing about this, this is what the people wanna see. They wanna see destruction. So if you destroy me, what are you gonna do for the rest of the family? Are you gonna take care? You told me <laughs> on the post that you put up, oh, you go take care of people's daughter. And for any parent that's going through this, cause I know that, in the community. That's what you're supposed to do when you come from that. You go help people. I'm just not helping ungrateful people. I'm not an ATM machine. People can't just say they love me when I give them something. 
I'm tired of that, y'all. And any other parents, you could be rich or poor at a smaller level. You might give your kid ten dollars, but if that's all you got, I've always fell off, got back up, hustled, did my thing. I'm tired of all these blog sites and all this stuff poking and having fun. Y'all can, but I'm about to go back to work and do what I gotta do. I love my family. My door is always open for my son. To be honest, because we shouldn't have to go through this. And if I'm wrong, forgive me. I'm apologizing to you if I'm wrong. I'm still a work in progress. I come from nothing. Everybody go through trauma. I'm dealing with this right now, but I love going out into the community and helping people. That's the way I heal. Allow me to heal. I don't have to be sitting around moaning and crying and all. I, I can't get my daughter back. But I can get out there and keep a legacy going, keep a name going. So let's do this in love in the community. That's what you're supposed to do when you come from nothing. You go help people. I'm just not helping ungrateful people. I'm not an ATM machine. People can't just say they love me when I give them something. I'm tired of that, y'all. And any other parents, you could be rich or poor at a smaller level. You might give your kids ten dollars, but if that's all you got, I've always fell off, got back up, hustled, did my thing. Do this in love, and let's do this in peace, because this is what the system wants. Think about it. We stronger together, but you older now, so you got to lead by example for the rest of the kids. And we're gonna get through this. I'm just telling y'all, keep keep y'all prayers. We need it, and, and, and God gonna do what He gotta do. You know, I'm not going to come on here no more. So bloggers and everything else is cool. Whatever you want to deal with, deal with Romeo. Whatever y'all think he's saying is true or whatever, that's cool too. I can live with it. I'm at peace now. I had to speak my peace. Do this in love and let's do it. So yeah, y'all, man. Um. I just think this real sad to see right before Christmas, man. Uh, you hate to see a family feud right before Christmas. Master P said, I'm at peace now. I had to say my truth. But the, th the one thing I don't like that Master P is trying to do is trying to make it seem like it's the internet that got them beefing or the internet that got them into it. Bro, like... Everything, what people don't realize, bro, is that everything that's being posted is what child posting, bro. How you don't want something out there that child posting? You can't blame the shade room. You can't blame this, that, uh, that's you and Romeo arguing on the shade room page. Y'all, uh, Romeo in the comments saying, y'all broke it. He didn't get the ICDC money and he ain't made no money. <laughs> he ain't make a damn off being a little Romeo and this, that, and the third. So, you know. But um, other than that, man, it's sad to see this right before Christmas, man. But y'all get in the comment box, man. Let me know what y'all think, man. It's your boy, Buddha. I'm out.